Yo, what's good YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Lampadati Komodo. This was just released with the brand new Casino Heist DLC. And as you can see, this is a very strange looking card to me. It's not something that I think is that exciting. Um, it looks okay. Uh, not my sort of thing. So as we scroll down and look at the price, it's at 1.7 million dollars, which is just fucking insane for the type of car that this is. This is gonna have to be like super fast for it to be worth that sort of money. Because looking at it in the, in its stock form, no way is it worth that sort of money. It's just mind-boggling to me i don't understand what rockstar are thinking with that sort of price tag this is going to have to be something special to be worth that sort of money so let's get it purchased let's get it into ls customs and see what we can find out about this motor vehicle so as we pull into ls customs you'll see the komodo is in the sports category so my first thoughts are confirmed it being a sports car just a little drive down here it does feel like it's going to be quite fast but getting it into ls customs now you have an even closer look at it I'm not impressed man not impressed in the slightest with the way it looks at all. I mean, the textures on them rear lights are flat. It looks like, you know, one of them toy cars where you get stickers <laughs> to go in the inserts where the lights are supposed to be. So it's a very poor job on Rockstar's part there. I mean, them lights just look fucking terrible. Uh, the rest of the style of the, of the vehicle isn't too bad, but it's just nothing special. And for that sort of price, it's just insane. Uh, but nevertheless, we're going to crack on with this build. And we're going to start with, as always, with 100% body armor. Then we're going to get the race brakes, front bumper. We're going to go with something, hopefully, that's going to transform the front of this car. Um, so the first two are just split options. And more split options, more split options, more split options, more split options with a few canards. Yeah, this isn't going to transform anything, man. It's just the same bumper just with a splitter that's all it is so man why does rockstar do this with all these expensive vehicles man they make them you know over the top expensive and then don't give you nothing in return i mean where's the individuality in this customization i'm in the first category and all i've got is a is a is it like a fucking splitter change? That's it. And maybe a few canards that look like dog shit as well. Them canards look ridiculous. It's just, oh man, it just it really irritates me. It really grinds my gears when Rockstar does stuff like this. I mean, fair enough. Add the car, but don't slap a 1.7 million price tag on it. What the fuck? I mean, I, I'm not a fan of any of these, but I think I am going to get one of the splitters just to make it look a little bit different. And uh, I'm going to go with the Carbon Street Splitter. For the rear bumper, we only get four additional options. Oh, what the hell, man? Why would anyone have them canals sticking out like that? What they call them? They call them fins on this. Well, yeah, why would anyone want them on the side of their car? I, for one, do not. So I'll stay, be staying stock for the rear bumper. Engine, we're going to get a level 4 engine upgrade. For the exhaust, we get four additional options. We get the oval exhausts. They're pretty insane. Uh, then we've got the dual rounded. The split oval and the dual squared. Uh, the dual squared actually look quite good. I think they're probably my favourite. So I'm going to go with the dual squared exhaust. Then we're going to move to the hood. Loads of options for the hood. But I'm guessing that they're not all going to be as different as I'm hoping. <laughs> so we get the secondary stock. The carbon stock. The street. The secondary street. The carbon street. I was right. They're not as different as I was hoping. Uh, the twin vented actually looks quite good. It's not a bad looking hood. Um, so yeah, so there are some nice looking options, which is pretty cool. A little bit more than what I was expecting, to be fair. Um, but you know, what I did think at the beginning was we're going to get one design, and then they're going to primary it, secondary it, and carbon it, and that's exactly what they did, just to fill the the gap, which is annoying. But um, at least Rockstar have given us some decent options for the hood. My favourite is this one, the twin vented hood. Uh, it doesn't look that great, but it's, I think it's maybe the best one we've got. Or maybe this one actually, the street hood. Street hood looks good. Fuck it, I'm going to go street hood. Then we're going to move to the lights. We've got headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. And we do get livery options for this vehicle. 
and we've got the racing stripes standard then we get the racing stripes with um, some lettering as well not a fan not a fan just get some racing liveries uh, some camo liveries so all the liveries are pretty much um, dog shit as well this is probably the best one the camo one which says everything because I hate the camo liveries and me saying that this is probably the best one in the lot um, really does say something about the customization so far on this vehicle um, so yeah I'm gonna say none for the livery then we've got a category called mirrors so we get second oh wow so it doesn't even, <laughs> doesn't even change the styling of it it just changes the paintwork oh my days I am gonna make use of the color change and choose the carbon mirror and we get another new option which is mud guards we don't get that very often on many vehicles and I'm not going to be purchasing mud guards because I don't understand why anyone would want mud guards unless you're in a rally vehicle um, yeah so I'm gonna stay none for the mud guards then we're gonna to go to the respray we're gonna go primary color we're gonna go metallic I'm feeling like I don't know maybe like a blue for this I don't know dark steel actually looks quite good actually I ain't done red for a long time and that formula red actually suits this vehicle really nicely so I'm gonna go formula red metallic for the primary and also for the secondary then we're gonna go to the roof we get a secondary stock a carbon stock primary I oh, will get the vortex generators I think they look a little bit weird with the fin antenna at the back yeah not a fan of that oh we get a roof scoop for it as well man what the hell I'm not a fan of the generators at the back because obviously the fin um, but I do like the carbon roof I think that looks quite cool just the stock carbon roof so I'm gonna go with that bad boy then we're gonna to go to the skirts and we've got primary secondary carbon primary secondary carbon <laughs> primary secondary carbon it's a pattern there's a pattern forming don't know if you notice but there's definitely a pattern forming and none of the side skirts are really anything to shout about pretty standard nothing spectacular I think probably the best one is this, the carbon skirt, nice and subtle, not not nothing too crazy. So I'm going to grab that bad boy. Then we've got the spoiler. We get the primary lip, secondary lip, carbon lip, and the same goes. We get one design and three variations of it. Awesome. <laughs> uh, the lips, they're all lip spoilers by the looks of it as well. And we get some bigger ones, the GT wing doesn't look all that bad on this to be fair it actually looks okay um, so I'm going to get it, why the hell not suspension so if we go competition suspension on the ASBO it slammed it, give it a bit of camber will it do it on this one? no it doesn't, thank god for that so we've got the competition suspension transmission we're going to get a race transmission and we're obviously going to grab the turbo tuning for the wheels the stock wheels are pretty nice on this uh, I'm not going to lie but they're not very sporty if that makes sense so I am going to go wheel type and into the sport category I'm going to go don't want, no, I don't want to go chrome uh, actually I might go high end stock and pick a pair of carbon a pair a set of carbon rims like these cheetah carbon are then obviously it goes with the wing the roof the wing mirrors I like that them, them rims are fucking sexy too so yeah we're gonna grab those bad boys and then we are gonna go to the wheel color and change it to carbon black because we do have a trim actually should we go red hmm no I'm not really a fan of that so I'm gonna just stay black with it and to finish off the build as always we're gonna go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tin so again my dudes as you pull out of LS Customs this actual Komodo kind of looks presentable now I've customised it as stock it doesn't look like it's anything special it doesn't really look like it's anything special now um, but what I've done to it uh, the red and the black always works no matter what you put it on red and black it looks the bomb on whatever you put it on and um, the subtle customizations I've done actually look okay and it kind of looks like a BMW from the side not overly but it's that's just what re, what it reminded me of when I first saw it pull out just then well let's just get to test driving this vehicle and from the offset the acceleration actually feels really 
really good and responsive. It definitely, definitely feels fast. Um, it's going to be one of the quicker cars in the sports category, I, I, I feel. Um, not obviously going to be the fastest, but it's going to be up there, I think. Maybe the top 15, 20. And, you know, that's, that's a good place to be, especially in the sports category, because there's so many vehicles in the sports category now. It's, um, it's kind of ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, it being in the top 20 is definitely um, a, good, a good place to be. Um, so like I said, it sounds amazing. The acceleration is really good. The top, the top speed actually feels like it's gonna gonna be there. It's, it's not slow by any means. The handling feels good. Um, the braking feels good. It feels like you can control it, even though it's got the power there. It doesn't seem like it's unruly and it's gonna get away from you. So yeah, so it's a well put together vehicle, but it's definitely not worth 1.7 million. That that price tag is is ridiculous um, but if you guys want to buy it obviously go and buy it but I wouldn't suggest purchasing it for that price I think it's a way overpriced for what it is you can get a lot better for a lot cheaper in GTA um, but it is a nice looking vehicle it's quick it's responsive um, the handling's good but yeah the only downside and it's a big downside is that price tag um, but on that note, I found going the video there. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this? Until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.